Hey guys, welcome back, this is Otaku Gamer, and you're watching Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we finished up the kid half of this dungeon, got the silver gauntlets, and came here as an adult. So we're going to continue. Gee, I never would have guessed that you were the one that was in this room. That's right, the cliffhanger that I left you guys with last episode. Eh, pretty boring. It, it, it's, it's just another iron knuckle. Fortunately, this time we're an adult. So, not only would we normally be doing double damage with our Master Sword, we have a bigger on sword that does four times as much damage. This fight's gonna go a lot quicker. Also, we're at half health, so... <laughs> let's just... Okay, let's um actually Z-target him so that I can jump out of the way, shall we? Also, I suppose jump attacks with a bigger on sword is better. See, he already lost his uh, armor, so he's at half health. And one jump attack killed him. <laughs> well then. <laughs> See how easy that was? See how easy that was? He was not a threat at all. I wonder. This is just a theory. I wonder. Nope, I can't use the Megaton Hammer to destroy the columns and heal. Okay. Let's find out what's on the other hand, then. Hmm. The Mirror Shield! We have a new shield! We finally have the third shield in the game! Yay! All right, and it matches. Everything about me matches now. The the silver gauntlets have a little bit of red to it. Uh, my outfit is red. The the shield is red, and there's also uh, the white of my clothes, the whitish silver on the gauntlets and the shield. I match, and it's beautiful, and I love it. <laughs> ah, all right. So there's still more of the dungeon, but before I actually go back inside, there's something I forgot out here last time. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Come over here to where there's a dried up pond. I'm going to stand on the rock real quick because I don't want the worms to bug me. Can I, can I get on the rock please? Thank you. Alright. Play the sun song. Turn it to night time. Hello, bird. There he is, over there. Can I reach him from this side? I can. Can I reach the sculpt coin? Yep, okay. How many is that? 90, I think? 94! Oh! <laughs> We're getting really close. Six more! <laughs> okay. Yes, so there's a Skulltula at the dried out oasis. Alright, so let's go back inside. Uh, <laughs> ah, remember last episode when I said that the shortcut that we unlocked was kind of useless? Well, <laughs> ah, it, it's 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 like it was meant to be. I'm I'm using the shortcut now. Right after I say it was completely useless to unlock it, I end up using it. <laughs> I just think that's kind of funny. Alright, so now we're back in here. Use our hook shot to get up here. And then go upstairs. Why are, Why did you slow down? Why did you slow down for a second there, Link? Alright. Through the door. Ignore the Beemos because he's not really a threat. And through the door. Alright. Now, why did that Beemos respawn, but this one didn't? I don't know. That makes no sense to me. Alright, and through this door. Now I can finally show off what the Mirror Shield does. Now, you'd think, oh, well, when I use it to block, it uh, cuts down on the damage even more. I'm not sure if that's correct, because honestly, I never used the shield to block, so... 
Actually, to be perfectly honest, thinking about it, that's actually kind of stupid, because now I remember, when you use the shield to block, it doesn't just cut down the damage, it cuts it out completely. If an, if an enemy hits your shield, it just does no damage. That's so, Never mind, that was a stupid idea that the shield cuts down the damage even more when you get an improved version, but what it actually does, if you read the text when I was kind of just skipping through it, uh, this shield, the surface on it, has been polished so that it's like a mirror. Hence the term mirror shield. Yep, we can use it to shine light, but we have to actually face where we're... Come on, there we go. Use the mirror shield and you'll shine light. You have to be in a light patch, though. Use it to shine on the sun switch. And there you go. Fortunately, this is not one of those switches where you have to constantly be shining light on it. That, that would just be stupid. Alright. So here we have... Small key! Alright. Well, I know where to use that. Get through this door. Also, um... <laughs> it might... you might be confused for a second. Uh, all the other temples, all the other dungeons, we've only gotten one item in. This is the only dungeon in the game where you actually get two items. You got the silver gauntlets as a kid, and you get the mirror shield as an adult. So, I, I just think that's kind of cool. It's the only dungeon that does that. Anyway, through the door. Beemos. Every time I unequip my bombs, there's Beemos through the next door. Oh, whoops. I meant to throw it, not set it down. Okay, and you're dead too. Did one of you give me bombs, please? I need a refill on bombs. Alright. So here we have a moving wall. First we're going to kill this Waltala. Can we hook onto this wall? Oh, we can! Wait. Let me try this again. There we go. Okay, so that lets you bypass a lot. In fact, actually, let me try something. I've never actually tried this. Can it reach all the way to the... It can! <gasps> well... <laughs> that makes it really easy. Um, this is supposed to be a timing puzzle, and you kind of have to go at just the right time so you don't die. I never thought to use the long shot and just bypass it entirely. That kind of makes it a little cheap. <laughs> I I must admit, that makes it a little cheap. <sighs> Still no bombs. Alright. Through the door. There's a locked door here. Well, there's Zelda, Zelda's lullaby here that probably opens the door. You know what? Let's go for it. We'll go through the other door later. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of fire slugs. Not like they're a threat. They've never been a threat. Ooh, magic! That's what we need! We need magic refills. And these fire slugs are kind enough to provide them for us. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that all of these doors are traps. It's actually kind of obvious if you look at it from the side. Uh, doors that are traps kind of stick out from the wall. So, yeah, these are all traps. Um, how do we get that switch? So this is the boss key. Um, when in doubt, song of time? No. Do I have to kill all the doors? Yeah, you're a trap, I know. Oh! I switch. <laughs> Well then, that was actually <laughs> really lucky that I chose that one. I could have chosen any of the other five doors, but I chose the exact one that I needed. That is convenient. Wait. Is there a... there is... okay. Damn it! The one time I actually say, you know what, I'm not going to need my hookshot, I'll just replace that instead. It's the one time I actually need my hookshot. <sighs> this game. Okay. 
press the switch, the chest is no longer on fire. And we can get the boss key! Yay! Alrighty then. Well, that's it for this room. Let's go back outside. Making a lot of progress this episode. <laughs> All right, through this door. Pots. That hurt. And a heart. Yay. Okay. Give me that magic. Yay, now we're at full magic. All right. So it looks like I need to hit that sun switch with some light. That's a giant mirror. So I'm going to... Oh, there's another mirror. Okay. All right. This, this makes sense. Let's hit this switch. That opens the door. That seemed very easy. Why that switch is even there in the first place? Why they didn't just, you know, open the door? I don't know. That seems a little odd. Hi, Lizzlefo. You're not a threat because, you know, bigger on sword. I'm really loving this bigger on sword. I don't normally use it this often, but, you know, I, I, I love it. Why are you guys flying in the air where I can't hit you? This, this is not, this is not preferable. I, thank you. You're all dead. Okay. So that's shining light that way. We probably want to blow this up. Yes. Also, there's a chest this way. Is it invisible? Hmm. I'm gonna investigate. It's not invisible. Oh! Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Get in the light beam. Get back a little further. Shine it on there. Yay! Chest! Yay! Normally I don't like chests that just give you useless refills, but that was actually not a useless refill. We were getting dangerously close to only having half of our total number of bombs. I know. Terrible, right? But we got full bomb bag now, so that's good. Alright, so now we're shining light on this mirror. Another useless uh, little foe. Okay, so now we can shine light on the giant mirror. There we go. Okay, now we probably have to go all the way back around. Through the door. Okay. Oh, the pots are back. Lovely. Oh, they're all... They're all alive. Well then. Where's... Yeah. <laughs> My one heart. Okay. So, I guess we stand in this beam and hit this... Put away our sword and then hit this switch. Oh. Elevator. Cool. Well, hello. <laughs> Hi. Um. Hmm. You know, I just have to say, this light beam would not be this focused after this much bouncing around. It would have diffused so much. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Little, uh. Jeez, would that be physics? Little physics lesson for you, folks. I think that's physics, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so what you actually want to do here, it's it's not actually really all that clear, in my opinion, but what you want to do is use the shield, while you're standing in the light, to destroy the face. How light destroys a face, I have no idea, but it does. Alright, so now... Um... Well, I could see the boss door through there. Can I just hook shot over? That would seem really simple if I could. I, I can't remember. I can! Oh. Oh! Well then. Well then. <laughs> Let's take on the boss then. We got plenty of time. Hmm. It's you two. Ho ho ho! Looks like someone is here, Kome! Hee hee hee! 
Looks like it, Kotake. What an outrageous fellow he is! To intrude so boldly into our temple! Ho ho ho! We should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson! Hee hee hee! Oh, loyal minion! Destroy this intruder on our behalf! <laughs> oh, that's that's cute. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna attack you! Oh wait, where's my weapon? Snap! Okay, now I have my weapon. Really? So this is it? Uh, uh, just just an iron knuckle, that's it? This is the boss? I mean, he's got some cool red trim to his armor, but other than that, I mean, we've already killed two of them. Hell, we killed one of them as a kid! I mean, you're, you're not really a threat. Oh, you blocked. How dare you. Whatever. It seems to be tougher than the other iron knuckles, though. Yeah, four jump attacks from the bigger on sword? Oh, well. I guess he's dead. Oh! What? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Nabooru! Hey, how's it going? Ugh, oh, where am I? Well, well! Looks like she's back to normal, Kome. She's just a little girl. But she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo, Katake. Maybe we should make her work for the Great Ganondorf for a little while longer. Ho ho ho! Then we should brainwash her again. Hee hee hee! Oh god, no! Nabooru! Oh, you... How dare you, witches! Oh, and there's a, there's a door. Okay, so I guess that wasn't the boss then. <laughs> huh. Alright, guess we go through the door. I'm sorry I couldn't save you, Nabooru, but I guess you're dead now for the second time. Alright. This looks more like a boss room. Yeah, that the game tried to fool me there, but nope, this is the boss. Alright. Hmm. Climb up here. Alright, you gonna fight me now? Look at that stupid kid! He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf! With my flame, I will burn him to the bone! With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul! Hmm. Sorcerer's Sister's Twin Rova. Okay. Welcome to the boss fight! <laughs> Alright, so... I can't remember which one's which, but uh, one of them's fire and one of them's ice. So what you want to do is hit one of them with the attacks of the other one. So can you guess how you do that? That's right. Mirror shield. It's it's difficult to aim though. That's the hardest part of this fight because because of the limits of the mirror shield, uh, <laughs> you have to be aiming just right. And one of them will when one of them's attacking you, it'll move. There you go. Got one. But yeah, um... One of them will stay pla in place and attack you, but the other one will move out of the way, and it'll be very inconvenient where they are. So it's kind of hard to hit them. I th think maybe? No, I didn't. I didn't hit him. There we go. Got the same one again. <laughs> well, this seems very... 
Actually, this is going a lot smoother than I expected. <laughs> okay, don't stop it. Stop targeting them. I kind of need you to stop targeting. Yeah, see, that's that's the problem. Stop, stop targeting. No, stop. You know what? Let's go with that. You're you're kind of in a good place right now. Even Z. No, don't you dare move. Ah. See, see what I mean? He was in the perfect spot, and then he moved. See, I can't see now. Because I'm scared to use my Z-targeting to move the camera, because I don't want to target one of them again and get stuck. <sighs> see, the other one moved out of the way. They, they move into positions where you can't possibly hit them. And it's annoying. I can't, I don't even know where the other one is right now. Okay, keep moving that way so I can hit you. Come on, move forward. Ah! Let's, let's go over this way because then when one of them attacks, I can hit the other one, maybe. Yeah! This is just... Okay. I want to hit this one. So No, you, you son of a bitch, stop moving. See, I had to readjust so I could maybe hit him and then... The beam missed me. This is one of the most annoying fights in the game just because it, it is a pain to aim. Okay, come on, hit him. Hit, hit, no! Ah! I hate this fight. It is so annoying. It gets better, but in this stage, it is very annoying. And yes, I did say in this stage. Come on, hit! Hit! I, I hit you! There's, don't, you cannot tell me that I didn't hit you. That is... Rah. No, you... Moved out of the way. Okay. You. Stay. Thing is, if you stand at right angles to each other, I can't hit you, and that's just not fair. What? I had my shield up! How did that even hit me? I could be here a while. I'm sorry if I'm here for a while. Um... <laughs> no, don't you... don't you fall off. Okay, stay there. Get up, get up. Well. This is gonna be fun. Let's just wait. Alright. Ow, I guess I didn't wait long enough. Okay. Um. <laughs> see, I came into this boss fight knowing I had, like, you know, 10, 15 minutes left of the episode, and I'm like, okay, we got plenty of time. Now I'm not so sure. Now I'm not so sure. I have no idea where the other one is. This is not a good plan. <sighs> okay, this might work. If you would stop moving. Got her! That's three hits. Okay. But, okay, this might be good. Maybe. Possibly, if you stop moving. Got her! Four hits. You're not done yet? Okay, you're done. You're done. Okay. Okay, let's get serious now, Kotake! Oh, okay, Kome. Kotake and Kome's double dynamite attack! Wow, you're ugly. <laughs> wow. That is ugly. Fortunately, you're a lot easier now. But I'm gonna die. <laughs> that's okay. I have three fairies. Well, two now. But you know what? That's fine. Okay. And what they don't tell you about the mirror shield is that it can actually store charges. So you store a fire charge. What you want to do is store three of the same type of charge. 
So we have the second fire charge. Oh, now see that's ice. We don't want to pick that up because our shield is charged with two fire. And that's ice again. So we avoid that. See how much easier this second phase is? Because all you have to do is Z-target her and just follow her around. You don't have to worry about keeping track of two separate targets being at just the right angle. And then it's just, it's easier. Okay, anyway. So when you fully charge the shield with one of the two attacks, you have to, it'll start spraying out the, um, whatever the element is. It'll spray out a flamethrower or an ice, what do you even call that? Ice ray? Ice beam? It, it'll spray that out. And so then, right, I have my sword. There's no shield with the bigger on sword. All right. Um, so it'll spray that out. And you just need to hit it. You need to hit her with the stream. She'll fall down onto the platform. You just jump over and you hit her a bunch of times. There you go. And that, that's basically the fight. <laughs> so much easier than the first phase. Oh my god. So much easier. Oop, I'm frozen. <laughs> oh, you, you laughed at us. And now our charges are gone. Yay. You know what? Let's just get ice. Because I haven't shown off ice. But yeah, <sighs> that first phase. You have to keep track of where both of them are. You have to be at just the right angle because you only have a limited range of motion when you're using the shield. And you have to somehow aim... <sighs> Damn, see, this is what happens when you're storing the charge of one and you get hit with the other. It, it cancels out and you lose it. Alright, let's use fire then. <sighs> I hate that first phase. Fortunately, we never have to do it again. Assuming I don't die. Which, now that I've said that, is entirely a possibility. I don't know, though. We have two fairies, and each one of those fairies will heal us up completely full. So we have a total of... 54 hearts left that we can use to kill her with. 54 hearts. Because uh, 3 times 19 is 57, and then we're missing 3 hearts. We have 54 hearts that we can use to kill her. So, I think we'll be good. Oh, that didn't work as planned. I wanted to just jump attack over. Alright, well then I guess we're not hitting her this time. She'll be up and flying by the time we get up. Yep, she's back. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I can get ice this time. Oh, yep, okay. We're getting nice this time. Maybe, just maybe I can finish this episode in a good amount of time. I, I, I honestly thought we'd be done by now. I, I honestly thought so, but... <sighs> yeah, that first phase. Yeah, okay, see, it's, it's basically the exact same as the fire one, except it's red. Oh, I only had time for one jump attack. All right. Well, we're not going to finish this by the 30-minute mark. Probably not. That's fine. That, that's fine. You know what? Today, you guys get a slightly extra length episode. How about that? Does that make you feel good? I, I, I think so. Every once in a while, you need to do that. Make an extra long episode. It just happens. But usually, I try and... I try very hard to limit myself to 30 minutes at the most. <laughs> Big change from when I first started. When I first started, I was trying to limit them to 20 minutes, and then I realized, no, this is just, this is not going to cut it. I, I get carried away, and I end up at 25 minutes more often than not. Okay, now she's dead. Now she is dead. Wait, what? You're, you're still alive? I thought we killed you. Shoot! What a fresh kid! This time we'll get serious, right, Kodake? What? Hey, Kome, what is that above your head? I don't know, but you have one over your head, too, Kotake. 
But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 380 years old! We're twins, don't try to lie about your age! You must have gone senile! Who are you calling senile? Is that how you treat your older sister? We are twins, how can you be older? Yeah, how heartless you are! How could you be so ungrateful? You heartless! You ungrateful! And they just kind of... <laughs> I'll come back to haunt you! <laughs> I love that. It is so humorous. There's very... There, there's actually not that much humor in this game. At least, not intentional humor, but... That, <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. They don't even realize they're dead. <laughs> I love it. Ah, uh, okay. So, we just got the last heart container. We now have 20 hearts. Isn't it amazing? We have... Well, actually, we don't have full health yet. There's one more thing we have to get. It's a surprise, but... That'll have to wait till next episode, and actually, since we're so far behind, I'm not even going to bother getting the um, the medallion just yet. I'll get that next episode. Until then, this has been Otaku Gamer. You've been watching Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and I'll see you guys next time.